Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the London Perspective, your go to podcast for all the latest news and insights on the gaming world. I'm your host, Stefan, and today we're talking about a recent interview with Nick Offerman, the actor who portrayed Bill in the HBO drama The Last of Us. He had some interesting things to say about video games, especially his experience with the Nintendo 64 classic Banjo Kazooie. So, Nick revealed that 25 years ago, he played his last video game, Banjo Kazooie for two weeks and it had a profound impact on him. He said, I lost a couple of weeks to Banjo-Kazooie and the slow dopamine drip was so delicious, but when it was over, I was like, what have I done with my life? Nick's experience with Banjo-Kazooie made him realize the addictive nature of video games and he decided to never play another one again. However, he acknowledged that games have become so good, especially The Last of Us, that he would be spending all his time in a basement playing it if he started again. Nick's sentiment about video games has been met with both love and relatability from fans on gaming Twitter. There's even a discussion about the phrasing of lost time when it comes to playing games for long periods. As Nick says, as long as you find enjoyment in the time you spend playing games, then there's nothing wrong with devoting time to them. Banjo-Kazooie is a classic and beloved video game from Rare that's still enjoyed by fans today. It remains to be seen whether the Bear and Bird duo will get another game of their own or be relegated to appearances in games like Smash Bros. But one thing's for sure, Nick Offerman's experience with Banjo-Kazooie has given us all something to think about when it comes to the time we spend playing video games. That's all for today, folks. If you enjoyed this episode of The London Perspective, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. And if you have any thoughts on Nick Offerman's experience with Banjo-Kazooie, We'd love to hear from you in the comments. Join us next time for more news and insights from the gaming world.